yeah, it was good fun. Um, we've been having a couple of meetings over the last few days when we got here and just talking about the way we want to play and, and how we want to go about preparing and, and being the best prepared team in the, in the world and especially for overseas tours like the UAE, it's going to be quite tough and challenging but it's about being as well prepared as we can be. It's just a, it's a hot day in Brisbane, isn't it? So it's a nice January day in Brisbane, so um, just a little bit less humidity. So it's going to be there, it's going to be for both teams, so we both have to prepare for these conditions and, and whoever prepares the best and, and executes their skills in this sort of temperatures is going to be the better team. It feels a long time ago going over to Somerset and, and playing some county cricket, but I think the lessons you can learn over there are, are so valuable and, and can lead back into to both four-day cricket and the, in one-day cricket with the Australia A. But I think it was probably a blessing in disguise having that broken finger coming back, coming back to Australia early and having six weeks at home, preparing and, and just trying to get myself really physically fit. I'm, I'm in the best condition I am at the moment, and and that's going to be really big over here. And and with this weather, batting as long as I can. If I can bat a whole day over here, it's going to be really good position for us in in this test. Tell us a little bit about the Australia A trip. Um, what kind of lessons did you take from, from that series? Yeah, learn, learn a lot of lessons. Um, a few little training things that I probably wouldn't have picked up on having Shri over there with us and, and little little sort of things working on. I watched a little bit of footage of my India tour last year. It was, although I got a, a couple of 50s, there were still areas I could work on and, and going big in those series were would have helped us a long way with, with that. Um, and then a few little trigger things against the spinners, having making my bat come down straight is probably more important now. And then with the game, you, the best preparation is always out in the middle. And would have been nice to get some runs in that second innings, but having having a left arm off, he bowled quite a lot in that rough was a really good challenge and working out different plans to, to that in the game was really good. Did you get to have a little bit of a chat with Rahul Dravid over there? Yeah, yeah, I, I spoke to him a bit. My dad's done a, a bit of work for his academy over there, so I spoke to him a little bit and, and some just some little things, little gems of wisdom. Uh, I think someone who's got 11,000 or a lot of test runs is, is someone you want to try and take as much from as possible. So, um, yeah, he was, he was always really welcoming and talk, very, very good with his talking to us. So that was really good for us. Uh, you were bowling quite a little bit in the nets early on there. Any chance for a roll for the arm over when the test get underway? Potentially. I'm, I'm already a test bowler, which is nice um, to have under the radar. Um, but no, Jail's spoken about all us batters being prepared and, and ready to bowl if the opportunity that Painting wants us to bowl. So whether that be my offies or, or Finchie's uh, left arm offies or Uzi's, who knows what he bowls anymore. Um, we've all just got to be prepared and having that extra bow is always helpful with our, with our game going forward.